five. Yeah. And when it's floating up there, you can almost pick where it's going to hit you, too. You can kind of decide, do I want to stick the shoulder into it, put out the elbow or the forearm? So designated hitter Dan Butler gets an opportunity now. With runners at first and second and two down. And the pitch is a strike here on Dan Butler. Right-handed batter. 215 average with a home run. And 10 RBIs for the Pawtucket Red Sox. The defending IL North champs. And the pinch. He's out in front. Yanks a long foul fly down the left side. At home run distance, but what a long ways foul. Lombardozzi, uh, not a regular outfielder, chased that one. I mean, there was no way, one, that he could catch it or that it had any chance of being fair either. Steve Lombardozzi making his seventh appearance at the Tides outfield this season. And the pitch on the way. Butler takes inside. He must leaned into that one. One ball, two strikes the count on Dan Butler. Former University of Arizona Wildcat. Gamboa, check of the runners and the delivery home. Check swing by Butler on the appeal did not go. So says Travis Carlson, the crew chief at umpiring down at first. Meanwhile, Jeff Gosney calls the balls and strikes tonight. Jonathan Bailey is the third member of the umpiring crew. You know, Gosney was up in the big leagues for a couple of days. Just came back. And the 2-2 from Gamboa. Floats high, now a 3-2 and two count. Eddie Gamboa threw 102 pitches in eight innings in his last outing, but laboring a bit here in the opening frame here, facing his sixth batter of the inning. Gamboa comes ready, both runners go. The pitch swing and a miss, but it gets away from Clevenger, rolling back towards the screen. Steve back to get it, but no chance for a throw, and everybody's safe. A strikeout, but the ball getting away from Clevenger, and everybody advances with Butler standing at first base. 